Hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to Wolfenstein 2. We're going into Volume 3 of The Adventures of Gunslinger Joe. Let's see how this story ends, shall we? You stay here, Papa. Rest up, okay? Go on, raise some hell, son. After Springfield, I traveled across the Midwest. I was a man on fire, burning with a singular purpose. To destroy Roderick Metza. I was a hunter, a predator following a trail of blood. And my prey led me to the Topeka Space Center in Kansas. The fire was burning ever brighter inside me, but I knew I was in for a heck of a fight. All right. Metza had caught a case of the jitters, hiding away in the high security space center in Topeka. There was no place left on Earth for him to run. So do we keep the upgrades or what? I mean, I kept the upgrades from the last... Maybe we do keep the weapon upgrades between chapters. None of my guns have any silences, so I guess I'm just going to use the rifle because we're not going to go quiet anyway. And the rifle has the best damage. Where are we? The Topeka Space Center. I mean, we can't see anything from down here. I wish we could get a, a view of it from the distance, but I think the whole point of the DLCs is they don't make new art. So actually, they don't show you what this thing looks like from a distance because they don't. They haven't made it. Right, they haven't made the geometry. Guy back there. Do wielding ammo. Okay, they give you ammo for the submachine gun. Right, since we have ammo, let's go ahead and use that. Honestly though, this has been the best tactic so far in this DLC. Just hide in the corner, wait for them to come to you. <laughs> it's worked every time, right? Every time I go out there, I get absolutely destroyed. Every time I do this, I do great. So why not? Okay, where are these guys? Hi. Oh, I'm stuck on geometry again. It's not just the curb, it's everything. Okay, we're maxed out on submachine gun ammo. Good news. This guy just punches through crates with his bare fists. Why would he be able to do this? You know what? Maybe Joe Stallion has already been genetically modified by the Nazis. Because why can he do that? Why can he run through concrete walls like that? Sitrep on losses in the Midwest, Lieutenant Hoffman. Reports have come in from our stations in this district. All stations in the former states of Iowa, Nebraska, Illinois, and Ohio are lost to the enemy. Oh, that's fast. 
Stations to the north are operating at half capacity due to increased resistance activity. Their guerrilla tactics are proving effective. They are gone and attacking another station by the time reinforcements arrive. The men are growing restless and demanding we deploy additional reinforcements, but Metsu insists that he has it under control. Should we go over his head and contact the Uber command the Uber commander directly? Metsu will not be pleased, but anything would be better than losing this district entirely. Hey, maybe Metsu is not actually. Maybe Metsu is sabotaging the Nazis. Because why did he give us back our father, right? Why did we? Why did he give our father back? And he didn't kill. Like he, he had Joe Stallion captured, and he didn't kill him. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm not gonna dirty my hands on this Unter mansion. Oh yeah. So then he doesn't kill Joe Stallion, and Joe Stallion just gets away. Maybe Metz is sabotaging the Nazis from the inside. Either that or he's just really bad at his job. <laughs> Could be incompetence. I don't know. <laughs> and now like you read the you read the text and Metz is like, no 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 no, we don't need reinforcements. We're fine. Like everything's falling apart and he's like, no no no, we're doing fine. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it sounds like he's sabotaging the Nazis. Buddy. Oh, what? I didn't even see this door. I didn't even see that door. There's just randomly two guys. Oh, he's gonna stash away onto a spaceship, I guess. I'm assuming we're at the spaceport because we're going to space. Oh man, the damage upgrade onto submachine guns is crazy. So much better than the unupgraded one. enemies right the music's still playing let me just okay. that's embarrassing you get perks but your perks reset after every chapter I'm not a big fan of how that goes note from Metzer to the proud elite of the Reich I regret to inform you that you will be among the second wave of soldiers departing to our advanced base. This is not an indication of your ability. Far from it. Many are needed to stay behind and defend our home while we prepare for the greatest enemy the Reich has ever faced. We in the front lines admire you as heroes, defending the fatherland against the undimensioned barbarians. Once our experiments have completed, rest assured we will be sending for you as well. We will need all of the Reich's best men in order to defeat our foreign invaders. We salute you all, Uber Commander Metzer. Wait a minute, foreign invaders? Are there aliens? <laughs> Are the aliens attacking? What's going on? Foreign invaders? What foreign invaders? Not from Metzer Muller. I'm continuously disappointed by the imbecile sent to us by the Uber Commando. These men are clearly not meant for fighting considering they have been unable to stop a single goddamn Untermension. You stopped me before, but these men would be more useful on the operating table than the front lines. They have more use as specimen than as target practice for the accursed resistance. I've included a list of men that are not to be informed of our departure. I'm willing to concede this territory to the resistance as long as our primary objective is met, Metzer. 
Okay. Oh, hey, those are the resistance guys. Except they use the same photos several times. Have I talked about the concept of Uber Mansion and Winter Mansion before? I don't think I have, as we've been playing through the uh, this game. So the idea, and it's kind of um basic, the basic idea is that there are just some people are more competent, some people are less competent, right? Some people are just stronger, some people are weaker. And the idea is, oh, well, the uh, the stronger people, the smarter people should be in control, and the dumb people should submit, because why would you let dumb people make decisions? Okay, right. But, uh, there's no... Like, biologically, that's not really how life forms work. Where did he come from? Because here's the thing, right? The way evolution works, you have random mutations, and then you have natural selection. For example, you know, you have rabbits that can run faster or run slower. And then obviously when you're chased by a fox, <laughs> If you run slower, you're gonna die, you're gonna get eaten, right? And so the the natural selection is the fast rabbits survive and the slow rabbits don't survive. But it's not that simple because, okay, we can fast and slow, you get away from the fox. You understand? But what if running faster comes at a cost, right? In order to run faster, you need more muscle mass. Maybe you have a, a more active metabolism, so you like you burn more energy. And because you're able to burn more energy more quickly, then you can run faster. Okay. So what if next time there's not a fox? What if next time there's a famine? <laughs> there's a famine and there's less food, right? So now, the rabbit with the more active metabolism, yes, it can run faster, but it's also constantly burning more energy. And so when there's not enough food, the rabbit with the high metabolism will starve more quickly than the rabbit with the slow metabolism. Right, so oh, now you switch it around, right? Before, the fast rabbit survives and the slow rabbit dies. Now this time, the fast rabbit dies and the slow rabbit survives because you're facing a different problem and so different problems require different solutions and so there's no such thing as uber rabbit and unto rabbit there's no like universally uber rabbit and there's no universally unto rabbit because whether you want a high metabolism that runs fast, or whether you want a slow metabolism that can survive a, uh, a famine, depends on what situation you're in, right? And so that when there's not a famine, then obviously you want to run as fast as you can. But then if there is a famine, you want to conserve energy. And so it like it, it's it's not a there's no clear positive and there's no clear negative. It just depends on the circumstances. Bastard's yeah. office. Could still smell him in here. Ew. Smelt like a dentist's office. Ew. Made me never want to see a dentist again. How you should see a dentist? I mean, should, if you have a tooth problem, you should go see a dentist. <laughs> anyway, so the idea of Uber Mansion and Unter Mansion is is basic. Like I said, like it's not not very sophisticated, not very clever. It's a very one-dimensional way of looking at biology 
right? Because, you know, if the way evolution works, if you think that, like, a bigger brain, like, being smarter, and having a, <coughs> a bigger brain, if having a bigger brain is universally good, then evolution would just favor bigger brains, and, you just, and your brains would just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So why don't human brains just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger? Because of childbirth. <laughs> I mean, there's one reason. One reason is childbirth, right? Already, humans have a much harder time giving birth than basically every other animal, right? And that's because of how big the baby's head is. The mother has to squeeze the baby's head out through her pelvis, and like a lot of, like a lot of mothers have birth complications because of that. I guess these days we have cesarean sections, so we can kind of get past that. But the other problem with the big brain is it consumes more energy. Like your brain is like it, it takes a lot of energy to to keep all those neurons firing, right? And so like there's there's like trade-offs. And if if you have a big brain but you're not using it, then it's it's just a waste of energy. So you want to be smart, but not more smart than you need to survive. Is how evolution works. So you're not you're not just gonna be unnecessarily intelligent. It's not that's not how evolution works. So um if you like select for, for Uber mentioned, if you like try to genetically breed the strongest humans, the smartest humans. Like over time, yes, I mean you can get bigger and bigger humans and they're bulkier and they're more muscular and they're smarter and they're oh Uber mentioned. But then they become incredibly inefficient. Like they consume more food, consume more energy than they're worth. <laughs> because like if you if one person because of just how much muscle mass they have, they eat twice as much food as the average person. So the same amount of food can feed two average people versus one Uber mansion. Now the resource use like are two normal people more productive than one Uber mansion? Chances are yes, because they have two heads and four arms and four legs so like probably two normal humans are more productive than one uber mansion so if the one uber mansion eats twice as much food as the two normal humans it's a bad trade <laughs> you see how that works you see how, you see how that works right it's not just about how smart and how strong the individual is you need to look at it as a population thing, right? The whole the population, that you consume a lot more food to maintain that those capabilities, and maybe you're better off having two normal people versus one Uber person, <laughs> right? You gotta, you gotta think about this stuff. The gentlemen of the Uber Commando, a vulgar display of force is the only way to end the American resistance growing in the Midwest. The Sun Conveyor, aka the Sun Gun, orbiting Earth, will soon be operational. I propose going to Venus, where I can coordinate an attack that will set fire to everything within the borders of Region 2 and 3 of the American territories. Yes, the place would be uninhabitable for many, many years. But I think you all agree it would be worth it. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to your decision. Auf Wiedersehen. All right, cool. So, Metza had flown the coop to Venus, hedging his bets on destroying America. Well, I wasn't going to let the game end like that. I had to find a way inside that launch station. Maybe there was a hidden opening somewhere. There's a sun gun. There's an orbital, orbital laser cannon, apparently. An article from Newspaper 1950. In a stunning display of Aryan power prowess, the German super team defeated the Americans in the Uber Bowl 42-7. In the final seconds, American-born rising star Roderick Metzer scored his fourth touchdown of the day in a stunning display of Aryan superiority. In what was to be the final game of ridiculous American football played, the Americans proved they are inferior to the amazing German team who had just learned the game two weeks prior. 
Americans are excited to see the superior form of football in stadiums across the country next season. The Americans' lone touchdown came from the war criminal gunslinger Joe Stallion, who was captured along with his traitorous resistance at the conclusion of the game. Due to the sportsmanship displayed by the traitors, the American players will be allowed to serve a life sentence mining coal in the Hillsborough mines. Right. There's a hidden door. Oh, the game doesn't tell you. <laughs> there's a there's a hidden door somewhere. The game doesn't tell you where. It's probably something funny. Probably a joke of some sort. Something about dentistry, maybe. Like where where's the funny haha? -ha? Where's the where's the Unavailable? Or is it outside? <laughs> is it in here or is it outside? Not the chair. Is it back outside? It's probably not back outside. Search Metz's office. Okay. Something in here. Do I have to, like, break something? What? Would it be? Like, there's stuff being packed. The desk? It's probably the desk, right? Is there a secret button? No. Search Metz's office behind the screen. I don't know. Do I have to like? Good things? I don't know what's going on! Okay, how hard can this be? How hard can this be? Um... things stop punching random stuff <laughs> no, don't don't throw the thing punching random things the globe the lamp Candle? Wait a minute. Can we like set the candle on fire? Light the candle? Punch the desk, punch the chair, the helmets? Huh. Doesn't help. Chairs. Oh, is there? Oh, found it, you guys. Found it. <laughs> hey, 
du, was Überkommandant Metze gesagt hat? Nein, was? Lassen wir seine Beste. Was ist das? Not a big gun. Aber warum? Wir sind wahrscheinlich zu gut. Irgendwer muss hier ja für Ordnung sorgen. Ha, leuchtet ein. Albert, um ehrlich zu sein, glaube ich nicht, dass du viel verpasst. Das Essen da oben soll schlimmer sein Alright, als das amerikanische. Alright, we can upgrade that. I don't want to use that though. Hold on, wait a minute. Dann gibt's nicht mal Terroristen zum Abknallen. Der Führer soll angeblich die ganze Zeit da oben sein. Stell dir mal vor, den Führer zu treffen. Stell dir lieber vor, dich auf deine scheiß Arbeit zu konzentrieren, Alter. Oh, tut mir leid. frame again. The geometry in this game every single time. Um Do we try to sneak? We don't try to sneak right here. I'm just gonna loot them out. Because there are, there are a finite number of enemies, there's not infinite enemies. So it is okay to like... Just alert everyone. And take them out. Let's think about that for a bit. While I replenish my ammo. Right, no problem. Seek them out when they will come to you. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Oh. Range rifle. All right, the commander comes to you. Nice. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Oh, there you go. Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, that's basically the game, right? You just let them come to you and everything's fine. I don't know. I wish, um... I don't, I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe I wish I, you couldn't just cheese it like that? Because it seems kind of silly. That that is the best tactic, is just to... Raise the alarm. Let everyone come to you and kill them. Because you, you feel like that shouldn't be the best tactic. You feel like maybe... The game would force you to fight them fairly, right? But no. You can and you should just cheese them out. What is that? Oh, come on, dude. Am I going down there? Can't be.
Yeah, no, you get stuck on this too. You get... Oh, the geometry in this game. It's so simple too. Like, I can't believe they didn't test this. Or if they tested it, I can't believe they didn't fix it. Right, the idea that you... Little bumps on the ground, you just, just avoid those. In video games. Oh, and the rails? Same thing with the rails. Yeah, no, it's just the geometry, man. It looks like we're going down here. What's happening? What is this? Weren't we in an underground station? What is this? Wasn't this like a concrete basement? And now there's a big open space? Okay, there's one guy. And there's only one guy. Oh, that's unexpected. I... where do these platforms go? <laughs> the shotgun. Should we try this again? <laughs> okay, where's the other one? I need to... Did he drop it? He probably dropped it. No, here it is. Alright, we have 200 shotgun. Is it a shotgun or is it like a, a flak cannon? Oh. Well, that works. You know what? That went great. <laughs> I mean, they drop down at close range. <laughs> and when you drop down at close range, the shotgun is great. Okay, we maxed the shotgun ammo. Where did they drop down from? <laughs> oh, these are pods? I guess those are super soldier parts. Alright, the shotgun is good for once. two doors. What is happening? Bunch of junk and some armor. Oh, I'm stuck on the door frame. <laughs> Come on, man. How hard it... It's just the, the door frames are not aligned properly. If they were like a little bit lower down, they'd be fine. So here again, I'm just gonna hide in a room. And shoot them as they come through, right? That's the plan, right? That's Blow. And I'm just gonna like, come back here and wait for them to come in, right? Why would you not do this? 
Of course you would do this. Who wouldn't do this? Is this really the game? Yeah, no, it's not, it's not great. This game design? Not great. <laughs> this is the game? I think it's level design. It's level design. Because they put... They put a narrow doorway into the area and they let you go back, right? You can design the... You can design the, the, the map so that maybe you drop down and you can't go back that far. Or maybe like the like you, you drop down and there's two entries, or maybe like three entries. So you can't just like back into a, a corner and shoot them as they come through because they can go around behind you. So it's it's level design. You can design your way out of this problem. The level doesn't have to be designed like this. Alright, there's more enemies coming. <laughs> I think they exhaust their, their reinforcements after a while, I think. I saw the commander before. I thought I shot him, but... Don't see him now. There's more ammo behind me. If I ever run low, I can go back, get more ammo, and then come back. Does the commander have a lot of health or what? He just walked past, I shot him twice. Okay, we killed one. Oh yeah, more back up. I'm stuck on the doorway again. So it looks like the oh, this one guy. Is dead. Yeah, like this range doesn't do anything. <laughs> the gun doesn't do anything at that range. That also works. I think we're good. Let me step back a bit. Okay, I can hear an enemy. Like, I do find it curious that the design of the main game was better than this. From what I remember, but maybe you could do this in the main game too. I mean, I don't know if this is a DLC problem. But I never actually did this in the main game, right? I think maybe they made it too hard. I think maybe if I played on a higher difficulty, I would have done this a lot more. And maybe I just didn't do this because it wasn't necessary. Because the difficulty was tuned. Such that uh, you could just go in. And fight your way through without having to do this. How much ammo was there? Alright, maxed out. Nice. I'm going back in. Go 
because the main game, to be honest, they felt kind of easy. I mean, there were moments where I, you know, had to try a few times. But for the most part, the main game felt easy enough. And your weapons felt effective enough that you could just like go in and shoot people. And the stealth worked. I guess here we're playing a character that doesn't have stealth. And so you just don't use the stealth, I guess. You know what? Maybe it's just the... Uh, this character. Because there are three different characters in the DLC, right? The other two characters are a bit better suited for stealth, and maybe that makes a difference. This guy is supposed to be running and gunning. But every time I've tried to do that, I've been overwhelmed by enemies and I just couldn't do it. You're not so tough that you can just charge in and shoot people and not care, right? So you don't have stealth, you can't really go in guns blazing. And so then the only option left is to cheese it, <laughs> like the way I'm doing. Alright, so where am I going? There's a big ass train station here. Space station, I guess, but there are train tracks. Uh, yeah, everything's super foggy. So what is this anyway? It's a station. It is a train station, but the train goes to... The spaceship? Is the... Wait, is that the spaceship there? Where are we going? I don't need any loot. Ah! Because I've just been using the heavy gun and cheesing it, right? I don't need health, don't need armor. Note from Metza to all of my elite warriors. Congratulations, you are among the few that have been chosen to join the fight against our alien invaders. Now that the Earth has been conquered, we must prepare to fight our true enemy, invaders from outer space. Is he crazy? You and the soldiers around you are were personally selected as best of the best. Together, we will strengthen our bodies on different planets to prepare to fight amongst the stars beyond our own to extend the Reich throughout the galaxy. Prepare yourselves, Aryan soldiers, for humanity's future. Uber Commander Metzer. That's not real, right? That's a scam, right? He's gonna take him up to the space station and then do experiments on them, probably. Also, where am I going? Here? What the? I had to find something to hide in. Oh, what the hell? Play the that? stowaway game on board a ship to Venus. What the hell was that? The guy was just there? I can't pick that up? Why can't I pick that up? I can't pick that up? <laughs> ah, I sh this video game. What happened? I can't pick that up. Was he glitched out? The gun's glitched out. Okay, now we have to go back down there. <laughs> that, was, that was the last enemy, he was stuck in a corner. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this game. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you get the B team to make your, your DLC. And this sort of thing happens, I guess. There were armor shots back here, right? Oh, I can't pick that up either. What's going on? Well, never mind. Stowaway. Wait, that exits the level? 
Is that the end of the... But there were only three chapters. What happens after this? Do we not actually fight on Venus? Going into space, I realized I was signing my death sentence. This was a one-way ticket. Oh, end of the line for Gunslinger Joe. But I had to keep moving. I had to keep fighting. For Papa. For America. Okay, we're not... We're not done. I don't know how much longer this level goes on for. I have to break out. <laughs> felt like an eternity had passed by in that container. My body ached. I didn't even know up from down. I just knew I had to get out, find Metza, and stop him from using that sun gun. All right. There's a guy there, right? Hold on. Surprise! Alles absuchen! Halt! Surprise! Where are we going with this? Where are we going with this? Oh, and I'm one of these? I don't have a heavy gun this time. <laughs> Did I kick him in the nuts? <laughs> so the commander's right above us. Oh. The cans don't knock them out. So what are we doing now? Geometry problems again. Um, let's consider stronger here. Much better. Ah, uh, dog. Behind cover. But I can shoot down at them from above. So the cover doesn't really help. Yes, I need ammo now. That's all reloaded. Okay, I definitely need stronger via ammo. Shipping instructions for Meta's delivery. Shipping to Venus Base Zeta. Basketball player diseased. Cold storage. Caught violating ban on organized sports. Slave long distance runner deceased. Cold storage expired during examination. Slave laborer living. Suit required. Violated slave travel ban. Slave weightlifter living. Suit required. Volunteered to official testing program. <laughs> Volunteered for testing. <laughs> Not the smartest weightlifter in the world, is he? 
<laughs> I volunteered. <laughs> Ammo, ammo. Maybe I'll find the other two characters more interesting. I think I'll find the stealth character more to my liking. For sure. Just because it's more my style. I like the, uh, the puzzle. Puzzle solving gameplay. And stealth is like a puzzle game, right? You're trying to work your way around the enemies, get behind them. Just thinking about um, Destiny 2. I played Destiny 2 for maybe a few days. But it wasn't very intelligent. <laughs> like it wasn't. It was kind of dumb. <laughs> I don't want to annoy people. Like it was a great shooter. Like the graphics were good. The controls were good. The movement was good. Like the shooting mechanics were really good. But it was just you like shooting things <laughs> nonstop. <laughs> it's just always like, you running around shooting enemies. Go to a different place, shoot more enemies. Go to a different place, shoot more enemies. Go to a different place, shoot more enemies. And that's the whole game. And after a while, you're like, okay. Like, you're just pointing and clicking. And that's it. Oh, that's all you're doing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just didn't need that much of it. You know what I mean? Like, I played a bit of it. I understood it. It didn't, like, it didn't hook me. It didn't, uh... It didn't keep me interested. What is that? Rapid reload? I don't even know, like, what... What the upgrades are. Did this give it to you? You know what, them giving it to you... There's less value in it. Because if you choose it yourself, like in the main game, you get a weapon upgrade kit, you choose your own upgrade. And when you choose, you are choosing a playstyle. You're choosing the playstyle that you enjoy, right? Oh, this is a door. So you you know you are like constraining yourself to a certain playstyle from that point onwards. Get punched. Get punched. Right, you're committing to a certain playstyle. Whereas here, they give it to you. I'm out of armor. I should stop doing this. They give you the. Uh... I can't go back. Crazy. They give you the upgrade, so you don't choose it. And so you don't feel committed to it. This isn't really my preferred playstyle anyway. Like they give you the shotgun thing, okay. But I don't use the shotgun. I mean, I can use it. Oh, I'm stuck. Can I go back? Okay, I can go back there.
Yeah, run into my bullets, you guys. Real smart. That's real cool, man. So where are the commanders? There's one. We're good. There's a lot of explosive balls. Let's try not to blow ourselves up. What the hell's that? Oh, I'm overheating. more enemies. Ah. Excuse me. Where'd they come from? Uh what no no stop it stop it. Does anybody have armor shards? No? Okay. So what's going on down here by the way? Uh armor shard. Armor shot. So I'm going down there, right? Just trying to find more armor. Oh. Alright, good. That gets me to 75 armor. Oh, we're not coming down here. That gets me to 100 armor, nice. Where am I going? Okay, there's probably a door somewhere. A door that looks completely in... It's that one. Completely inconspicuous when it's closed. They should, like, put some color... Yeah, they should put some color on the door that actually opens. Because that's, like, it's so subtle. the cover? And then back out again? Really? Okay, back out again. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. And then go back in again? What is happening? with this layout. And we go back in again? <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you design a space station like this? That's the dumbest thing.
need more ammo. Not ammo. What's he doing? Venus coffee? Funny. Like, how do you... How do you drink coffee through that mask? How do you... <laughs> what is happening? Alright, we've maxed on ammo again. General Angle, she's dead. I guess she's not dead yet. This, oh, this is a boss fight. Safe. Um, that looks suspiciously like a boss fight. Oh, Kill shit. everyone. The... I thought no, you were no, dead, no. John. <laughs> Persistent. Just like your worthless father, slaving away down in those awful Hillsboro mines. Look where his persistence got him. Six feet under. Oh, I'm getting wrecked. Oh my god, I'm getting. Oh, that's not the one. My father was a preacher, Joe. And at night, a grand dragon of the Ku Klux Klan. I remember asking him once, Father, how do you know white folks are better than Negroes? He said, Use the gray goop in that little head of yours, son. I am ordained to commune with God. You see, Joe, God is on our side. Top that champ. What does that mean? I... Alright, well. I knew there was a boss fight coming. Which way am I supposed to go? I guess oh, this shit. is the way to go. I thought you okay, were maybe dead, I should Joe. just keep going. Persistent. Just like your worthless father, slaving away down in those awful hills, pearl mines. And look where his persistence got him. That's fine. Six feet under. That's not a door. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. Oh shit. Like, what if I we thought just... you were dead, Joe? Persistent. Just like your worthless father, slaving uh, away uh, down in those awful Hillsboro mines. And look where his persistence got him. Six feet under. No, that's not how you do this. <laughs> okay, look, I'm, I'm missing something, right? What am I missing? What? What am I missing? What am I missing? Like, what, what gun... What gun do I have that would kill the giant robots? Or do I not kill the giant robot? Oh shit! I thought you were dead, Joe. Persistent. Just like your worthless father, slaving away down in those awful Hillsboro mines. Like, is it safe here? Look where his persistence got him. Six feet under. Can I dodge the ro robot forever up here? Uh, no? My father was a preacher, Joe. And at night, a grand dragon of the Ku Klux Klan. I remember asking him once, Father, how do you know white folks are better than Negroes? He said, Use the gray goop in that little head of yours, son. I am ordained to commune with God. You see, Joe, God is on our side. Well, that sucks. I have four health.
This is an awful boss arena. Like, it's like, like the worst. The absolute worst. Where am I going? Oh, shit. Up there? Hey, robot. Like, what if, what if... Persistent. Ah. Just like your worthless father slaving away down That's not in a those dog. awful hills burrow mines. And look where his persistence got him. Real dog. Six feet under. Is this really what you're supposed to do? My father was a preacher, Joe. And at night, a grand dragon of the Ku Klux Klan. I remember asking him once, no Father, way. how do you know white folks are better than Negroes? He said, use the gray goop in that little head of yours, son. I am ordained to commune with God. Stay out of my way. Unbelievable. Gunslinger Joe does not leave here alive. You hear me, you worthless worms? He is stomping all over the legacy of my ancestors with his dirty little feet. Ten thousand marks and a promotion to any man oh. that brings me his head. Overheating? Oh, Jesus Christ, all the way to the Oh my god. And For you love of god. also overheat. Someone explain to me why this football bastard is dead. And you also overheat and go back. I'm gonna get shot. I'm gonna get shot. Oh my god, stop. Jesus. What a disaster. Oh my god. What am I stuck on? Okay, stuck, okay, stuck. I'm gonna die, stop getting stuck. Oh, what a disaster this level is. This freaking game? <laughs> Are we done or not? Are they all dead or not? And where am I going now? There's still a commander. Stop it. The Venus heat was making me sweat worse than two a days in August. Fleeting memories. Not much to hold on to. Only the winds of hate carried me forward. Well, what is what is the winds of hate? The winds of hate? Are we going this way? We're going this way. what they call poetic justice, Joe. You could have had a decent life, taking a dive on the field for the Reich. Now look at you. A limp dishrag groveling on the floor. Before I shoot your brains out, any last words? Uh, why haven't you fired the sun gun yet? The sun gun there? Oh, that's not operational yet. <laughs> Are those your final words, slave? No, but this is. Go wrong, you Nazi bastard.
I laid into that son of a bitch just like my papa taught me all those years ago. For him and all brothers and sisters who had suffered at the hands of the Nazis. <coughs> Metzo was finally dead, and I was pretty roughed up myself. Just when I thought the game was over, it looked like we were going into overtime. That was pretty stupid. <laughs> that ending was pretty stupid. That final boss arena? Bad. <laughs> and then that ending? Stupid. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the that's the adventures of Gunslinger Joe. It's not great. <laughs> like, like the gameplay is okay. Uh, it's the story is not great. <laughs> And there's problems with geometry, like getting stuck on, on little curbs on the side of the road. But it's more... It's more Wolfenstein, right? It's alright. It's more Wolfenstein. It's it's okay. It's Alright, let's see you in the next one. The next one's gonna be... Uh, what's her name, right? This one's gonna be Ancient Silent Death. See you next time.